passion, dedication, and barely enough money to buy a used sofa on Craigslist. These are the things fan films are made of. Let's recognize the hard work and talent that went into some of the best ones. Batman vs. The Terminator When all hope is lost and humanity's demise is certain, here comes the one man crazy enough to fight murder robots whilst dressed as a bat. You picking this up, John? The result is Batman vs. Terminator. In this animated short, not only do fans get an older, tough as nails Batman inspired by the works of Frank Miller, they also get Batman mowing down T-800 roboskeletons in his bat tank in the post-apocalyptic, machine-controlled Earth from the Terminator movies. Death Scene Spring Trap In the Five Nights at Freddy's games, players control a newly hired security guard at the Chuck E. Cheese-like restaurant. It's a quiet night and everything's going normally, until the creepy animatronic animal characters come to life. This fan film adaptation of the game isn't even a minute and a half long, and yet it still manages to capture every detail that makes the game series great. Spawn The Recall In 1997, Spawn hit the big screen, and it was a disaster. Spawn is funny, he's our man, if you can't kill him, no I can't. Yeah. The fan film Spawn The Recall succeeds where Spawn 97 failed. In it, a child and his mother come face to face with Spawn himself, who has a dire message that must be delivered. Is back. Fans nailed Spawn in eight minutes. The best Hollywood could do was this. That our Robocop remake was an attempt to recreate or reimagine every scene from the original 1987 Robocop movie. Dozens of Los Angeles area comedians and sketch groups each picked one scene to make as they pleased. In the end, all of their stylistically different work was stitched together to form one utterly unique Robocop. And it didn't need Michael Keaton or Samuel L. Jackson either. Dirty Laundry Marvel's 2004 Punisher movie was a letdown. Star Thomas Jane more than made up for it by reprising his role as the vigilante in the short fan film called Dirty Laundry. All of Frank Castle's rage and capacity for lethal violence is unleashed when a normal laundry day is interrupted by gang violence. It's brutal, bloody, and actually fun to watch. Batman, dead end. Just when a showdown between Batman and the Joker is about to peak, a new fighter enters the match, a Xenomorph, the acid-drooling monster from the Alien movies. The Alien pins Batman, and then someone else shows up, and some others. It doesn't make much sense, but it's awesome. Severus Snape and the Marauders, set in 1978. This 25-minute film tells the story of James Potter, Harry's dad, Sirius Black, Peter Pettigrew, and Remus Lupin, as they bully young Severus Snape after he tries to meet Lily in a bar. It perfectly captures Snape's inner rage and conflict as a man who walks the line between good and evil. Troops. If there were a fan film Hall of Fame, Troops would be an immediate inductee. Made in 1997, it's an episode of Cops set in the Star Wars universe, starring dim-witted stormtroopers on Tatooine. It's groundbreaking for its use of impressive, low-budget CG effects. Even better, it's really funny. Power Rangers Part fan film remake and part parody of dark, gritty reboots, Power Rangers takes the Kitty franchise and tells how each ranger has spiraled downward in their ranger retirements. It has a lot more money behind it than most fan films and more star power too, with appearances from James Vanderbeek and Battlestar Galactica's Katie Sackhoff. Star Wars Uncut Star Wars fan Casey Pugh had a wild idea a crowdsourced shot-for-shot -shot remake of A New Hope. Fans claimed 15-second segments of the film to remake, and then PU edited them together. One moment, Han, Luke, and Obi-Wan are Legos, and a second later, it's a bunch of kids in their backyards with broom handles for lightsabers. A fresh take on a familiar classic, it adds up to one of the best fan films ever. Thanks for watching.
Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw and leave us a comment to let us know which fan film you're a fan of.